Hello, this movie will feature the SPC to spool gen integration. Uh, smart plant construction, I think most of you know, is able to retrieve spooling information directly uh, from Smart Plant 3D. Uh, so, whenever you actually access a model uh, from Smart Plant 3D, if the spooling has been performed in uh, and Smart 3D, then when you retrieve that model into Smart Plant Construction, you will retrieve those spool definitions also. So we can take a quick look uh, of how that actually shows up in Smart Plant Construction. When you actually use your selection rule for isometric or spool or whatever it may be, and and you and you write mouse button on that, you'll be able to see the drawings or spool information if it actually exists. Here we're going to show that it does not exist because we're going to actually do some spooling uh, in Spool Gen. So I'm going to actually bring up Spool Gen here, and one of the exports from uh, Smart 3D is an actual PCF file, the industry standard standard file for the exchange of isometric information it in IDF. So now within that uh, smart plant spool gen creates a, a uh, pod file, a uh, popping object data file, and it's going to allow you to specify your spooling uh, rules and, and naming convention for your spools and allow you to go in and place various field wells uh, and add shoes, possibly uh, replace elbows with bended pipe and to be able to generate uh, the resulting uh, uh, spool cut sheets and uh, once you've added the site welds and, uh, and other things such as supports and uh, shoes and that type thing and to be able to generate that and then the integration platform to be able to, to publish that information uh, that you generate, both the definition of the spools and the actual drawings themselves. So now you can see that I've generated uh, the, the various spool cut sheets for this this particular isometric and, uh, and I'm going to choose to publish those final erection drawings with revision control uh, into Smart Plant Foundation, the underlying integration platform uh, under our Smart Plant construction. So uh, I will choose to do that. I will uh, uh, pick a revisioning scheme. This is very important so that you're able to know uh, subsequently after this uh, when you've got different revisions so that you always know that you've got the latest uh, revision uh, of the information that's accessible to, to those planners in uh, Smart Plant uh, Construction. So now I'll go back to Smart Plant Construction and use my administrative feature uh, to retrieve uh, the integrated data that resides in Smart Plant Foundation. So I can selectively retrieve those, uh, you know, interactively, and, or you can queue those up uh, to be performed overnight or over the weekend, depending on your your data size. For this particular demonstration, it goes pretty quickly. So uh, we're going to go back uh, into the model uh, as we did before initially. Uh, so you can see uh, the results of that within the model uh, itself that's provided in Smart Plant Construction for planning. So we've applied a piping filter here and we're going to zoom back into that area that you saw at the beginning of the movie uh, so that you can see a representation of that integration uh, between Smart 3D, Spool Gen and Smart Plant Construction. So you can see now all the, the resulting spools as a result of the field wells that I placed uh, within Spool Gen. And you're also not only going to get the definition of that uh, to see the spools themselves, as you see here, but to what makes up that spool. You can see the components that make up that those various spools uh, that we split out in Spool Gen. And also it's going to give you the capability uh, to, to show the actual drawings uh, that we generated uh, from Spool Gen. So with a, with a uh, relatively short, concise workflow there, uh, you can have uh, uh, defined initially spools in Smart 3D and you can supplement that uh, with Spool Gen and, and have those drawings uh, and relationships back to the model. Uh, published into foundation 
uh, for subsequent retrieval into SPC uh, for work package planning. Thank you.